sweet bees it's the sweetest vegan here today on the show we're going to be making a extra challenging recipe for me if not for you it turns out really great but it's called stuffed cabbage it's my first and probably my last time making this but it was really good so i may give it a try in the future here we go So we're just going to start this recipe by turning the cabbage upside down and using a knife to gently cut out the hard core. Then you want to leave all the leaves attached, place the head of cabbage in a bowl and use a small pot of boiling water to cover the cabbage and let it sit for about 10 minutes to kind of soften up the leaves. This didn't quite work out for me. Out of either 10 minutes wasn't long enough or I should have just taken the head of cabbage put it in a boiling pot of water and let it cook or simmer for 10 to 20 minutes. I think that would have worked better. But next, I'm using the same pot. It's a nice size pot slash pan, but I just put some olive oil in it and browned some onions. I didn't completely saute them, just let them get a little bit soft before putting in a bag of frozen broccoli. Um, I tried to cut up the broccoli into smaller pieces so that it made for a better stuffing, you know, smaller, mushier, you know, just holds together. Then I'm going to salt and pepper the um, onions and the broccoli. And this is about all the salt and pepper I'm going to use. Then I used a small box of couscous. You can use not a box. You can use just like a regular couscous. Plus I used the seasoning that came in the box. It seemed to be vegan. It didn't say it contained animal products and it was supposed to be olive oil and garlic. So it wasn't like chicken flavored or anything. And I wanted the olive oil and garlic flavor so I used the package of seasoning. You can totally leave that out though. Just use some couscous. Um, add a little bit of water. Then for our proteins I'm going to add black beans i had these black beans left over from some recipe i made and i saw them in the refrigerator and i was like okay good protein into the uh batch next we're going to peel the head of lettuce you drain it and then you want to peel off the leaves the outer leaves probably peeled the easiest and i just didn't even peel anymore once it got to the inside because they caught started breaking up and they were just completely raw and crunchy anyway you use about a spoonful of stuffing and just roll it up and just as soon as it looks like i rolled it up to perfection stuffing just falls all out the other end <laughs> so then i put them in the frying pan you want them in an even layer and i got tired of rolling plus the cabbage leaves weren't cooperating so i just pour all the extra stuffing into the pot and pour my tomato sauce on top of it and that's like a mushroom something type of spaghetti sauce and then I put extra water in there to keep it from sticking at the bottom and to give it some nice steam and to just loosen up that tomato sauce and make it a little bit more, you know, saucy saucy instead of like spaghetti saucy. <laughs> I don't know. You let that simmer for about 45 minutes and then you're done. You can serve this up to the family. And all in all, my sister liked it. I liked it. My grandmother thought that it had too much spaghetti sauce, but it was wonderful. It seemed balanced and the flavors were like all balancing off of each other's and it was really good. So that's it for today. Bye. If you missed my last video, I made back to school fried apples. If you're looking for a special treat to make for your little chicklings to go back to school, then this is what you want to make. So just click on annotation to see that recipe.